Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stones. Thanks for passing by the channel. I'm forever appreciative. You know how we do 9 p.m. gang and all that business. You get me? If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, comment, share, like, you know, all that good stuff. You get me? Yo, let's talk about tonight's Love Island. Tonight's Love Island started in the morning. The man, them, and the gal, them had just woken up. Breath smelling like last night's goulash and them things there. Like crossing the eyes, cross a stick as the corners were hove spreading them things there. You get me? Like muku in the corner of the mouth. <laughs> Everyone just sitting there. A couple of them had sunglasses on their eye. You know how they do in the morning and them things there, yeah? And then um, Jay was sitting there thinking about the whole page situation. Jacquees seems at the beginning of the episode like he was in love. And Danica, I feel sorry for Danica. Yo! Danica's looking for a man, but a man ain't necessarily looking for Danica. <laughs> Try to find a man for Danica is like, you probably find Madeline McCann easier than them things there. You probably find footsteps on the moon quicker than them things there. But yeah, no one don't seem to be interested in that. She just seems like, get me, one of like Lucas Fish. Just no one don't care in them things there. But yeah, Dami and Ekisu was talking in the garden. They were sat in a little corner and them things there. Just a little quiet, little cozy corner. And uh, he was asking her about the Vida and whether or not she thinks, or he thinks she has a chance or whether there's going to be a future for them too. But uh -uh. <laughs> she was saying, yeah, that um, she's still basically feeling the Vida, but it might be too late. It's definitely too late. You missed your flight. You, you definitely missed your chance on that one. So Jay and Paige was talking in the garden. And he's trying to like ask questions, trying to find out where her head is. Where's your head at? Where's your head? No, joke. <laughs> he's trying to navigate and circum, circumnavigate and find out where, where she's going and them things there. And, um, he's saying he doesn't want to, he just doesn't want to be a, like a, a Klingon. He doesn't want to be that guy who just lingers and them things there. But yo, his breath is lingering. <laughs> he's lingering like a bad pup. Bro, this guy is lingering like an athlete's foot. You know when then you got a man with a left, a smelly left foot and he takes his sock off? That lingering smell. <laughs> That's Jay. <laughs> oh my God. That's definitely Jay. But she's saying to him, do you know what? Things ain't necessarily... She's saying to him there's still hope. Like, things are still... She's still open to get to knowing him. She's telling him she's open like a 24-hour shop and them things there. Like an off-license. That's what she was telling Jay. And, um... Yeah, he was... He, get me, at that point, he was still hopeful. She shut that down later. Uh, <laughs> dead off. Everything get locked off, I'm telling you. <laughs> but I think Paige, yeah? Paige shut him down later on in the program and them things there. But I feel like she could have shut him down a lot quicker a lot sooner than him but she just liked the fact that there was two willies get me two three willies just fighting for her she loved it like yeah but <laughs> my man was just lingering just like a, get me like a like one of lucas fishing and things there yeah. jay and davida were talking in the garden they was by the pool they were just talking about the girls and all that stuff yeah and jay was asking davida about ekin sue about whether like he still wants her and i wonder why everyone keeps asking him whether he, like he still wants her whether there's like obviously there's parts that we don't see yeah but everyone keeps asking him why he still wants her why he still wants her jay asked him why he still wants her and he was like no i don't care about her availability i can have her if i want her like this <laughs> that's what he said you know he said i can have her if i want her like this then man there, yo Davida, Mario, Luigi, this brother's getting too cocky, bro. I swear down. Man, I need to smack him with some spaghettis or something. You get me? Just boss him up with a ragu. You get me? What's wrong with this brother? This guy's getting too cocky now. He, I don't know who he thinks he is. Or is it because Ekinsu turned him out? I don't know. But, yo, my man... I just don't like the way he dealt with Danica the other day. You get me? That's some idiot thing. You get me? And he, he don't even really like Antigone like that. So, Dami, India, Ekinsu... Gemma, um, I think, I think, yeah, I think that's the names, yeah. They was all in the garden by the little corner circle chair thing in the garden, yeah. And it was all chatting. And Dami was on this, yo, Mystic Meg thing, telling everyone he could read their minds and their thoughts. You get me? Man was just like, yo, let's see what you're saying. He read Ekin Sue's mind. He told her what he was telling her, but no one don't really care about that. Ekin Sue's mind just full of trash. For the streets. <laughs> Ain't nobody care about that. Then he told Gemma, yeah. That basically, that Luca like Luca likes her more than she likes Luca. And if someone comes in, that basically that she's she fits more of a criteria than Luca, that she'll be willing to get to know him. 
And she was like, along those lines, she was like, basically, yeah, she agreed to it. And then straight away, egg and poo, egg and sushi, yeah. Egg, egg, yo, this girl went, I swear that she walked off like a thirsty ostrich. She walked off like a flipping crazy heifer. She just walked straight to flipping Jackson, um, Jackson Page. Sat down and straight away, this girl, she's a plant, I'm telling you. Yeah, she went straight over to Jackson Page, yeah, to tell them what had just been said and stuff, yeah. This girl is a poo starer. She's a doo-doo. Listen, she's a fudge starer. <laughs> she likes stirring the... She's ambidextrous with it as well. She just be stirring with both hands and them things there. She's like a witch. <laughs> I swear down. Listen, yeah. But yeah, and then basically later on, yeah, Paige and uh, Gemma was sat down and Paige was asking her, oh, so what, did you say blah, blah, blah? And Gemma was like, hold on, like, well, go on, like, where did this, where did, where did all this come from? And then Gemma got mad. Gemma started fuming, walked off. Yo! Yo, it was a massive steal, I'm not gonna lie! She walked over there, she stormed over there, stormed there like flipping Storm Eunice or something. You know them ones there, like some Hurricane Katrina. She went over there and she was like, oh, keep your business to yourself and all them things there. Eki Sue was like, yo, just chill out, just... Chill, dude. You get me? You just chill. <laughs> and you see what's on this chill out thing. But Gemma was giving her the smoke. She was smoking her batty and them things there. Gemma, do you know what? How could Ekinsu, a grown ass woman, be getting smoked by Gemma? Gemma just, Gemma's a baby. The girl still looks like a breast smell like flipping baby milk, like Cowangate and them things there. It looks like she just still came out of a flipping baby seat and them things there. How are you getting torn off by this girl? Probably still getting pocket money and them things there. Come on, Ekinsu, fix up. But you know what? In defense of Ekinsu, yeah, she never did nothing wrong. She just, all right, she was gossiping. The only thing she did wrong there was gossiping. But she just, that's what, that's what um, Gemma admitted to. Am I wrong? Then Jax went and told Luca about it. Luca only just got wind of it like a bad fart and them things there, like one of his fish reminded him of home, yeah? And then he was like, he wasn't really too happy about it. And him and Gemma caught up and they sat down. She explained it to him about how the whole Dami was just reading everyone's minds and all that stuff and rare, rare, rare. But you know what? I feel like she was kind of, she weren't really forward with the truth. And it was kind of, I don't know, their relationship ain't secure. That's why they're both mad at each other or they're mad at Ekisu. Because Ekisu, what, like, apart from gossiping, what did she really do? Then Luca and Gemma called over Ekinsu, yeah? And Ekinsu came over, she, she was laying down comfortable and them things there. They asked her what she said, and she said it again with a surgically enhanced chest. She said it quite clear, and that's exactly what Gemma said. She ain't told no lies, you get me? Them two there are so, they're not, they're, they're, their relationship is dead. Luca is so embarrassing. He's such an embarrassing fishmonger. The union of fishmongers should kick him out, box him out with a wet flipping sea bass or something. This guy is, he's embarrassing, bro. This guy, first of all, this girl is flipping a, a child. She's a flipping child. Bro, you know he knows who her dad is. Do you know how I know he knows? Because Jax, Jax knows who her dad is. Jax knows her from the outside. So Jax has probably told him. He knows who her dad is. That's why, oh, bro, the guy's like a leech. Fam, I wanna box him. That's your slipper at him. He was so embarrassing today. Jax was mad at Paige. Jax was mad at Paige because apparently he asked her to come into the pool with him. And then, like, she was talking to, she was talking to Jay or whatever. And he just got, he just started getting mad and started fuming and stuff. Like, like bro, like, you wanted, to, you wanted her to crack on. She's cracking on. And you're moving like a crackhead. Bro, what's wrong with this guy, bro? This Jax, bro, I'm telling you, man with toe like that, man can't, man can't trust man with, 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 bro, I don't trust Jax. I really, really don't trust Jax, but obviously other people do, so I'm just going to watch this play out. Casa Amor will tell us all we need to know. I'm telling you, it's going to get big. See, Dami, yeah? Dami, Olua, Dami, Lola, oh my God. Dami seems to be the therapist of the house. He seems to be the, like, the Vanessa Feltz, the... The, the, he seems to be the, I don't know, he's, whenever every, anyone's got problems in the house here, itchy batty, you get me, like, sore fingers, you get me, sour bread, they always go to Dami, Dami seems to be the doctor that just, you get me, yo, <laughs> Papa Shango, Dami just, you get me, everyone goes to Dami, anyway, when Paige was going through whatever she was going through with Jax, yeah, when Jax was mad at her, because Jax was mad at her, because she didn't come to the pool, she was chatting, chatting to, she was chatting to, um, uh, Jay, yeah, 
She went and she went and pulled Dami away. She said to India, because Dami was sitting with India and all that stuff. She said to India, can I borrow him for a second? She pulled Dami away. But a constant theme in all these episodes, Dami seems to be at the center of everything. It seems to me, yo, Dami and India got to win. He's such an important part of that house. He's like, he's important. You know, that one's there. Anyway, yeah. Um, she pulled Dami away to talk to him and she was just like, yo, like, why is this brother moving on, on some waist man thing? You get me? Is it the toes? Is it because his toes is bigger than him? Like, and then Dami was just like saying, basically, because he's opened up to you and he's let you, sh he showed you his emotions and all them things there. It feels like maybe, like, it feels a bit of a way and it feels like you might be taking advantage. And she, like, that was basically it. It kind of squashed their beef and all that. But this Jax here, he's got red flags. Yo, bro, I'm telling you, this guy, if if Paige was this girl and they was on the outside and she got him mad, he'd smack her with a toaster. He'd smack her with a flipping radiator or something. I'm telling you, this guy is a psycho. He was mad because she wouldn't come to the pool. So, something simple. Bro, I don't, Jax is a, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about Jax. <laughs> and a text came through. A text came through for them to have a blue party. Yeah! Because <laughs> the night time. It's the right time. Yeah! Night time. Blue party. They all got dressed up and all that stuff. Having a drink. Slow motion dance. Slow motion for me. <laughs> a little thing there, yeah? And then um, Jax, Paige and Luca was talking and stuff, yeah? And Luca, it was just bothering him with the whole thing with Gemma. And he's saying he needs to find out, like, they were saying to him that Gemma likes him. I mean, he likes Gemma more than she likes him and all that stuff. And he's saying he needs to really find out how she feels about him and all that stuff. Then they went off and spoke and sat down. He's just basically confessing his love. This guy is obsessed with this 19-year-old girl. Bro, is it her that you like her, her dad? Are you gay? Like, what's wrong with this guy? This guy is on some different kind. I don't think he likes Gemma like that. I think he just wants to meet her dad. He's a fan. Stan. He's a flipping fishmonger. This guy, what the? Bro, like, he's not a man. He's insecure, needy, embarrassing, wet, and he's fishy. He's all sorts of things. All sorts of, like, things that, bro, this girl's a child. Bro, anyway. Anyway, like, I don't know. Luca was just embarrassed. He was, he was just annoying me. Like, he's been annoying me this whole thing. There's a couple of times where he says funny things, yeah? But I'd rather just fly and kick him off the terrace and not never see him again. They're like, he's just, he's just a waste, man. Absolute waste, man. You're wasting your whole life on this teenage girl. Come on, man. In the nighttime, yeah? All the girls, yeah, when I broke it off with their little side links, their little sneaky links and everything, their little part time. You get me? Their little side pieces and all that stuff, yeah? First, it was Paige. Paige was telling Jay. She was like, yo... Like, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. <laughs> she didn't say that, but she just basically, she called it off with Jay. She's like, look, I really like Jax and all them things there. And, um, yeah. And get me. She, she, she basically just put a full stop to that there. She deaded that. Then Tasha went and told the brother, Charlie, like the brother looks like he works at a flipping tanning salon and he just sleeps there regularly. He just looks beat up. Look at them ones, they're tired. They man, it, anyway, Tasha was telling him, do you know what? It was nice that he paid attention to her, but she's back with Andrew. It was his trim. Did you not see his trim? <laughs> that man, they had the Oliver Twist, sir. Can I get some more trim? Yo, that trim was needy. <laughs> that looked like flipping like a cereal bowl kind of, kind of trim. Who gave him that, Jay? No wonder them two got dumped, man. No style, no swag, no drip, nothing. Absolute wet guys. Emotional brothers. All fish. I know Luca is the main fishmongers, but the rest of them are just fish. Absolute. Anyway, I can't wait for Casa more. He's getting a bit dry and a bit stringing along with just dead storylines and them things there. I want to see man get mashed up. I want to see what. It's your boyfriend stones. <laughs>